Hello, I'm Noah Shook. Welcome to another edition of The Advance. The communications department at Kansas Wesleyan has been in a building period in recent years. One of the goals the department strives to achieve is interaction and learning with other communications programs. Five students from Kansas Wesleyan decided to attend the annual Kansas Speech Communication Associations Conference in Topeka. The students attending the conference were seniors Eric Argenbright and Amanda Little, and juniors Jariah Forbes, Steve Johnston, and myself. Professors Gary Harmon and Barbara Marshall and Dr. Jack Morris also attended the conference to give presentations. All of these students, excluding Little, presented communication analyses. Dr. Morris discussed the convergence of print and broadcast reporting, Professor Marshall spoke about uniformity of college speech classes, and Harmon talked about bridging the gap between high school and college debate programs. Anyone in the field of communications can join the Kansas Speech Communication Association and attend the conference held once a year in Topeka. And while the communications department is building, the building the communications department is in is also building up its technology. Devin Frederking reports. The Fine Arts Building underwent some changes over the summer in its computer lab. The lab in room 122 expanded and now houses twice the number of computers. The 20 brand new computers are state of the art with more memory and hard disk space, upgraded software, and firewire cables for high speed video connections. It sure is great that Kansas Wesleyan keeps expanding and with this expansion comes many new faces each year. The first stop for those thinking of attending Kansas Wesleyan is the college's office of admissions. Director Jim Allen is often the first to introduce students to the university. The admissions office has also garnered its share of fame. Other colleges pay visits to Westland simply to observe the way the admissions office is run. If you know someone interested in attending Kansas Westland, simply contact the admissions office and the staff will work to arrange a visit. Kansas Westland not only offers classes on campus for ed education, but it also works with many colleges overseas to offer studying abroad. Jennifer Gansenmuller was one student who decided to expand her education by going overseas. Gansenmuller always enjoyed traveling, but did not even think about studying abroad until one summer traveling to the 2006 Midwestern Psychological Association's annual meeting in Chicago, in which Dr. Steve Hoekstra first mentioned it to her. Dr. Hoekstra had such a passion about it that Gansenmuller decided to look into it. After some investigating and a lot of paperwork, Gansenmuller was ready to go to Deakin University in Geelong, Victoria, Australia. There she discovered a different learning experience. Most of the time, degrees only take three years to complete due to not having a liberal studies requirement, and she had classes only three times a week. While in Australia, she was also able to spend some time traveling and enjoying herself, including a visit to the Great Barrier Reef and the Sydney Opera House. Well, that's a look at what's happening here around campus. Uh, make sure you join us next week for another edition of The Advance. And if you would like to learn more about the stories you've heard, visit us on the web at www.kwadvance.com or you can stop by newsstands on campus to pick up your, our print edition for yourself. I'm Noah Shook, thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Haley Brown. Here's a look at what's happening on campus this week. Monday the 19th sets off the third week of the Mixed Media Invitational Show. The show consists of different art created by Jerry Bahari. That evening, the women's basketball team will travel to Hayes to take on Fort Hayes at 6. Later that evening, the Salina crowd will meet in Miller's Chapel for practice at 7. Tuesday at 7, the men's basketball team will hit the road and travel to Bellevue, Nebraska. Later that evening at 9, come down to the Student Center in Pioneer Hall for the calling. Make sure to watch your email to find out what fun activities Dr. Blackwell has planned for the night. Thursday is Thanksgiving and the campus will be closed. Friday, the men's 
men's basketball team will hit the road and travel to Topeka to take on Missouri Western at 5.30. Later, the women will compete in the Hastings Classic and take on Hastings at 6. Noon on Saturday, the women's basketball team will take on Doan in the Hastings Classic. Then later that evening, the men will travel to Washburn at 7.30. If you want more details about what's going on around campus this week, check out www.kw.edu and click on Campus Calendar. Know what event you'd like to see on our campus calendar? Let us know. Send an email to our producer, Paul Green, and we will do our best to get your event listed. I'm Haley Brown, and that's your campus calendar, and happy holidays. Yeah.